It was May 2020 when the Dream SMP was created. Since then, it has brought a new set of entertainment to millions of people all across the world. It has history behind it, and today it is known as one of the most complex series in Minecraft, along with the 2v2t server that is still somehow up to this very day. For a lot of us, Minecraft was a childhood game that we grew up with and still play to this very day. It is one of the many games that can relieve us from the everyday pressures as an adult. Well, if you are an adult. On April 16th, I created a brand new server that I hope to bring the entertainment and joy to viewers, just like the Dream SMP server. However, this isn't just a Dream SMP inspired series, it's a series that is open to my supporters just like you. For as long as possible, I hope to keep this series open not only to my community moderators and friends, but my Twitch subscribers as well, meaning that it is as easy as having a Twitch Prime account to join this series. To the start of my adventure of this brand new world, all of my mods had exclusive access into the world a day early. And together we started our adventures, but very differently. I was perfectly minding my own business, trying to collect the simple resources that everyone does when starting out in your world. That was until Stork G walked up and started beating me. I realized he had the advantage so I retreated my position and ran for my life. It was when I had one heart that I thought I wasn't going to make it out alive. I didn't want to have enemies early on, especially since I knew he was going to have an alliance with Slay, so I let this one get past me, hoping for a better encounter with him later on. Being one of the first members in the world, Stork and Slay both agreed to form an alliance together, and later on down the road, Unknown joined the alliance as well. This created the first faction of the world, and they named it the Oreo Faction. Factions in this series can cause some trouble, but can be very beneficial as well. Think about it as countries in the world we live in. Some can form an alliance with other countries, while some can be against one another and try to tear each other apart. Or some can fall in anarchy. I continued my adventure in the world and decided to go down a cave to find some better resources. After all, about half an hour in, I still had stone tools. I went down this cave and found some decent materials. That was until I found the first mob spawner of the server. I made it this far, so I knew I had to stay alive. Look, I survived and continued on in my adventures, don't worry. As we continued on, we came across some stray dogs, and I just knew we had to add them into the family, and that is exactly what we did. I never came across naming them. At this point, we run into Spooky, one of my longest active subs of the channel. He was suited up with iron really early, and ended up being the first member of the server to enter the underworld. I finally end my walking adventures at this point, and we pushed to find land across the ocean. We ran into two shipwrecks, which gave us some pretty good loot. After sailing the ocean, we finally found some land. I decided to join Stork G, Slay, and Unknown in their voice trap, and I was met by this. Bitch, who made this? Oh yeah, that was no one's made, made a that spawn. So yeah, Spooky had made a on spawn and well I made sure that that was removed for any newcomers. Continuing on with my adventures we run across a village and a pillager tower. Surprisingly there wasn't any pillagers in sight so I figured to make this a safe haven for now. I logged off to go eat dinner not thinking anything about it all you know. Yeah well I came back to a swarm of villagers surrounding me. We made it though. At this point, we were around two hours worth of footage and I never realized that my microphone was muted. But after two hours of adventuring, we had found our humble above. I couldn't believe I found it. It felt like an eternity when I was searching for it. It wasn't a high plains. It wasn't a dark oak forest. It most certainly wasn't the middle of the ocean. It was this beautiful landscape. I searched through the lands, found a couple of spawners, but set our stuff in this small little area. At this point, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. At this time, a brand new member joined the server. Orange is a close friend of mine and has been a part of my community since 2016 when I first started. I had the plan to live alone. Not that I don't like living with other people. I had normally followed myself when it comes to builds like this over the years. The thing is that I knew Orange and he was interested in growing an alliance to create the second faction of the server. I took it in consideration and I agreed to it. Thus, creating the second faction of the server, the Ballin faction. We had tried to keep it a secret from the Oreo faction, but that didn't last long. I had to get actual resources at this point, not just live on stone tools. So I went mining, and that ended up being an adventure by itself.
Orange is getting his ass kicked by a baby zombie. You good, Orange? <laughs> no. Wait, you okay? I try. Yeah, he's all right. I I try I try, I try to come to you, but then all I see is blocks getting placed. You're getting your ass kicked by a baby zombie, really? <laughs> yeah, it was surely interesting. But we did reach the Nether thanks to my speedrunning experience. While searching for a Nether fortress, I found a piglin fortress to loot. Now that I have. Now that I only. Now, I have only found one of them prior to this one, so for me, this one seemed massive. That's what she said! <laughs> I knew I had armor to survive and a golden hat to get past them. I knew you could trade with them, so I dug a hole and led them to it by placing gold in the hole. This one piglin, however, did not like me. Out of pure panic, I tried to wall him off instead of using the sword that I obviously had in my hotbar. That didn't work though, and I quickly died for the first time. An Oreo faction member asked if he could help me. I was more than pleased to accept his support. After all, I was pretty stupid when it came to knowing what to do in the new nether update. This formed our first alliance with the first faction ever. We grabbed all of my loot, and I thanked him for his help. Together we hopped into a new nether portal and spotted in an area that neither one of us swore we knew about. Not only that, we were a couple of thousand blocks from our own home. At this point, the Oreo faction and the Balin faction both agreed to have an alliance. The first factions to do so. In this alliance, the Oreo faction merges with the Balin faction and becomes just one major faction. This made the first power faction of this server. Together we work on getting resources and building our empire for defense of any other factions that may come around. If you made it to this point of the video, thank you. Um, I'm not going to waste your time, but I just want you guys to understand that it took me over 9 hours to edit this video. I know, absurd, right? Look, I'm new at editing. I've only been editing for close to... Oh, shoot, I don't know, like three and a half months, maybe four at this point. Actually, no, maybe five. I honestly can't remember off the top of my head. I'm still relatively new. I'm still learning a lot of shortcuts and a lot of things and this, that, and the other. I need you guys to understand that. So if you actually enjoyed this video somewhat, please hit the like and subscribe button and comment down below any like tips or anything that you guys can give me. Um, I definitely try to space the video out as much as I can. You know, editing wise, uh, but that was pretty much four hours worth of footage chopped down, maybe six minutes. Um, I had to write down a whole script beforehand and all of that stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I look forward to seeing some of you guys next time.